Hi, this is Catherine Rosine with Board Game Geek here at Chico 2016. I'm sitting here with Adam Izdedski from Taylor Games and is here to talk about Tavern's Tales. So tell me about the game. Okay, so in this game we take the role of a board noble. They live their quite boring lives on the floor work, on, this, on their couch, so they want to get some adventure, yes. yes. But they cannot do this alone, so they go to the tavern and persuade the heroes to join them. So, so they, they can, can just sit and then tell tales how they slay the dragon, for example. So Which they just watched. Yes, happen. yes. <laughs> but nobody has to know about it, yes. <laughs> In this game, uh, each player gets a set of starting cards. Uh, for the basic variant of the game, this is these four cards, uh, three cards. Yeah. So, uh, in this game, players have, uh, it's like a deck building without a deck. Hi. The uh, players will buy heroes from this uh, pyramid with costs uh, depicted there mm -hmm. and go on a quest. So, uh, the main feature of the game is playing cards, of course. Uh, player can play two cards a turn. Um, more if uh, they use a special action, but uh, basically the player can either play this card face up. So, uh, this card stays this way and player can use the ability uh, on, depicted on this, on this card. So, for example, this guy recruits a character to your party. So, to recruit, player uh, flips, exhausts a number of cards in their, uh, on their party and buys a character takes them to their hand, or in this case, party, on the, on the table, uh, equal to the number of persuasion points they have here. Which is the tankard. Yes. Uh, for example, this one. So, if I play him, I exhaust him. So, I have one, one point, one persuasion point, and I can buy any character from here. From the first row. Which yes. Uh, and the second uh, action is playing the card face down. Ah. So, if you do this, you can either recruit a character to your hand or go on a quest. Quest works uh, quite similar to the uh, recruitment. So, uh, as you can see, here are the tiles. Each of them has points that they uh, give the player at the end of the game and difficulty. In this case, this is uh, free, uh, free uh, desert terrains. So, to complete this quest, player will need three characters with, uh, with desert. Let's just find them right now. So let's say it's something like this. And then player... This is the ter knowledge of terrain icon mm -hmm. of, the, of the character. So the player wants to uh, go on a quest, so they place it face down. Or in, the, in this case they can place it face up, because this character goes on a quest uh, from, this, from his text. But let's say we do it, like, do it like that, and we check if we have three disciples. We exhaust these heroes and take this quest. Yes, take this quest and it's ours to the end of the game. So the players buy these cards, use them, and when they run out of cards on hand, they take it all up and it's all uh, on their hands. All right. So, so you, you're, you're buying new heroes to then let you go on quests, and then whoever has the most points on quests. Yes, at the end yes, of the game yes. Will win. And you can, if you have more character, more characters, then uh, you can do more quests a turn. From my experience, two quests a turn is maximum. It's absolute maximum, and you have to think it through. And other players must really ignore you, so you can pull it off. But basically, uh, you buy these heroes for their talents because. Each quest uh, tile also have a talent on them. Mm -hmm. So you will get points for characters with this talent. One for each hero, mm -hmm. for each hero card. Because uh, players get points at the end of the game for uh, quests, this number, uh, these points. And for the symbols on the talents. Yes, talents. And also for uh, met characters. But it works like this. It's not like I have two Dobrociaks and they give me two points. No, it's the one and the same character. It's just two cards. And he will give me two points. All right. So for each different character you have, you'll get a little bonus. Yes. And the player will play uh, nine rounds. You can uh, mark it with these tokens on the cards. Great. Great. So how uh, long does the game take to play? Uh, 30, 60 uh, uh, minutes, and it's four, two, to four, uh, two to four players.
Great. Nice uh, little game from uh, Taylor Games, mm -hmm. Tavern's Tales.